Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to remove this fan blade from this motor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Today we're going to go over on how to remove a fan blade from a fan motor. Specifically this is a condenser fan motor that I took apart from a residential condensing unit. Just a heads up, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and let's get straight into it. In front of us, we have a blade puller. I am a big advocate in making your life easier along with removing stress from your mind and your body. It's very important to have good tools and it's a key to making your job easier and more effective. So today, we're going to demonstrate how to remove a blade using a blade puller, along with other techniques. This is specifically a fan blade and blower wheel puller. This is called the Ultimate Puller, and it is made by Sensible Products. If anyone is interested in purchasing this style of puller, a link will be in this video's description. Here's our motor and blade, and specifically, let's focus in this area. Here is our blade and it sits on the shaft. And as we can see, we have a locking screw right here. Typically, you would see the shaft sticking out of the motor a bit. In that case, you're gonna to wanna to take some sandpaper and sand it down. Sand down the rust off the shaft so you can make this as easy as possible. And at the same time, you can apply some sort of penetrating oil or WD-40. If you look closely, I did apply some lubricant and let's give that a few minutes and at the same time, we're going to loosen our locking screw. Personally, I love using some sort of ratcheting wrench. This one is pretty cool. I do have quite a few different styles of these types of wrenches. I will leave some links in the video's description or you can use a adjustable wrench or a fixed wrench to take off that locking screw. Loosened it up. Everything is now loose, so pretty much this should be able to just like slide off. So sometimes you could just take something to kind of pull it open. Just, I see, right there. And we got it loose. This is honestly rare. And if you can get away with it, it is your lucky day. Most of the time, it's not going to be so easy, especially if it's an outdoor motor that's been exposed to the weather conditions. It builds up a ridiculous amount of rust and the end of the shaft when it sticks out, it's really just a nightmare. So in that case, it is your best friend to have a blade puller and different styles of blade pullers in your van. Let me just explain the two ways of how this actually works. In this case, we're going to use it in style number one. I'm going to call this style number one. So we're going to put this tool around the blade itself. And we have these locking screws. We're going to lock it in place around the blade. And then this part here, we're going to tighten it down. So as we tighten this down, it's going to push against the shaft and lift the blade off. For this style of blade, which is what we have, it's going to be a little different. If we look closely, we don't have those little locking screws like this one has. We have these little pullers here that go underneath the blade. So we wrap up underneath the blade. So as we push down, actually tighten down on this large bolt, it's gonna push against the shaft and pull the blade out. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this. The first step is to remove the locking screw so we can get our tool all the way around. Although this method might work, I am going to use the method shown in the instructions for this style of blade. So pretty much all these little screws would grip, grip around here. And pretty much when you tighten down on the screw, it's gonna push against the shaft and pull this up. It's gonna either loosen these or just remove them so they're not in our way. One thing to keep in mind, you see this side is straight and this side is curved. 
they want you to put the curved inside. We now have to tool evenly around our blade and shaft. From here, I would definitely recommend you use a socket set. Definitely makes things easier. And if anyone's interested in an inexpensive and quality socket set, I will leave a link in this video's description. This is what I've been using for years and it's honestly done me right. So let's go ahead and tighten down right here. So as we tighten down here, we're gonna push against the shaft and it's gonna lift the blade up. see but that blade is actually picking up right now I'm gonna continue the process from here so hopefully you guys can see the blade actually raising As you can see, this tool is extremely handy and without a doubt, a must have in your vehicle. If you wanna be prepared and make your life easier, you definitely need one of these in your van. This reminds me of one of those video arcade games with the claw, <laughs> we had to get the prizes, but yeah, this thing is great. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as they come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.